Hi guys, it's me, Trudy Lee. How's everybody doing? Today is Saturday, April the 24th. I don't usually do a Saturday reading, uh, but I, I had planned on doing it. I've worked a little bit today and I got a reading ready for y'all, but my husband's been working on the deck all day and he's using his drill and his saw and making noise. He's making a little bit of noise right now. I don't know if it'll come through or not. It's a lot, lot quieter, so I'm going to try to do the video now. <laughs> and what I want to um, do a reading on is Alexei. No, I want to crucify his name. Uh, Nuvalny, right? Alexei Nuvalny. I think that's how you say it. Okay. He stands for Justice and Liberty for Russia. He's willing to sacrifice his life for his country. You know, we all know that he's been starving himself, right? And that has kept the light on him and the focus on change for Russia, you know, because he didn't go back to Russia just to rot in a prison cell, you know? He didn't want to just be a forgotten cause. He's an anti-corruption lawyer. And uh, this started out that he... Um, he got sent to prison on some trumped up fraud uh, conviction, right? And then they let him out on parole and then they poisoned him while he was out on parole and he had to go to Germany to save his life and get help. And then they put him back in prison for uh, violating his parole for going to Germany to save his life. So that's why he's back in it's, that's why he's back in prison. It's really, really crazy. So he was sentenced to three and a half years and it was reduced down like to 2.8 months, something like that. So anyway, um, it's crazy. It's really crazy that, you know, you don't want to live in a country like that, that that's how they treat their opponents. That's, you know, Putin is taking care of him, you know, but he's very, very brave his whole family's brave. His wife is very brave. Can you imagine what she, you know, what she's going through and what she feels like knowing that her husband is starving to death and it was just on the edge of death. It's so, it's crazy. Uh, his wife's name is Yulia, I believe. Yulia, instead of Julia, Yulia. They have two children and um, a boy and a girl. And uh, God bless him. God bless him. He's really trying to, you know, fight the system and make some changes in Russia. So God bless him. Let's take a look. I'm going to, I'm doing this kind of a little bit quick, y'all, because my husband's making a lot of noise. And I want to uh, try to get through it without too much noise. So I already set the cards out, ready to go. So I can just read them real quick. So the first card that I pulled on Alexi is the King of Cups. You know, he wants to restore balance um, of power. That's what this is, balance of power to the Russian people. That's what I'm getting with this. Crossing over is the lover's card. He deeply loves his country. Uh, you know, he, he he didn't have to go back to Moscow. He didn't have to, you know, go, go be put in jail. He could have stayed in Germany, you know. But, you know, he was answering his calling. He made that choice to do that. That was his choice. You guys know I've been having a problem with my lighting, and I'm trying to do something a little different here with the lighting. Um, I covered all my windows. I put on a lamp. And, you know, I don't know if it's any better, though. Just need a better camera. <laughs> Overlooking his situation is the Ten of Swords. So I think um, I think this is probably that when he was poisoned, this is a time of betrayal for him by somebody close to him that poisoned him and betrayed him, and it almost led to his death. But this really only served to shine a bright light on Alexei. It turned him into it like a martyr and, you know, a star to the whole world. It brought the, you know, it brought the, the attention of the whole world. So it really didn't uh, do, I think, what it, what it was supposed to in the mind of, you know, Putin and his little allies. Now, 
it did what it should do for Alexei and for Russia. But had they known, probably wouldn't have poisoned him, that it would not do any good. Uh, this is the foundation of the reading, the sun. So the sun is about feeling so much better now. Things are going well. He's getting care now, you know, and he's feeling much, much better. So I I did read that um, they, were, they were giving him glucose um, intravenously and that he's been drinking water. And I think he's going to start eating. They said that he he told his attorneys that he would start eating, but he's already feeling better. So that's good. Three of Wands, um, this is in the past position, so this was all planned. You know, not that he's not truly starving, but it is it is a planned, you know, something planned. I think his attorneys knew that he would do that. Um, and there, there was, um, you know, there was, I think there was a, a stopping point of how far he would let it go, you know, and hopefully, you know, it wasn't uh, all the way over. So this was all planned. And like I said, he was drinking water and you can go without food for a long, long time, but they said he was on his deathbed, um, but he was still talking evidently. So I don't know how, wasn't like he was in a coma or anything like that, but I do feel like, um, this was planned to get attention and to get him, you know, uh, out of the prison, get the care that he needed. So I think it worked, you know, but gosh, don't you know, his poor body is breaking down and suffering from no food and everything. Plus he had to go through, you know, getting treatment for being poisoned. So he wasn't up and running a hundred percent. He's really, He's really, you know, something else. He really is. He's really endured a lot. This is Two of Cups. Uh, you know, I think because of everything that he's been through and what he stands for, and now that the light has shined on him, you know what I mean? It's like all different countries are co uh, a coalition, you know, of other nations are moving to support him now. So he's getting a lot, a lot of support, a lot more. Also, there's more people uh, in Russia supporting him, too. There has been thousands and thousands of people that have been arrested just because they're supporting him and demonstrating for him. So he has the respect and admiration of many people, many countries. Uh, the next card, this is the Four of Swords. And this is just, um, this is his state of mind. He's now relaxing, you know, because he's um, getting the care that he wanted. He's in a real hospital with doctors that know how to care for him, and that's what he really wanted. So he's kind of he's recuperating now, and he's going to be okay. Uh, he's not going to die, and um, you know, I haven't seen that he's eaten food yet, but I do, I I do see that he's recuperating. So that should mean that he's started to eat also. The star card. There's so much hope for the future, you know, and uh, things are going to get easier. They're going to get much, much easier now. Putin is feeling the pressure. That's why he let this happen. You know, that's why he let him go to a regular hospital and see his doctors because he felt the pressure from the coalition. So, you know, it worked. It really did. Two of Wands. Uh, Alexei, you know, hasn't chosen an easy path. He hasn't chosen an easy, and the world is watching him, and there are many, many with him. He's a very ambitious guy, you know, and he's very al altruistic. He has many plans to take down Putin. That's and that's, the, of course, we all know that's the reason why he's been going through hell. But he has become recognized as a legitimate candidate for president of Russia. You know, um, he he tried to run in 2018 and they, they didn't let him. They didn't let him uh, put his name on the ballot or let him run in Russia. But that's the path that he's taking again. 
he wants to be, you know, a legitimate candidate for president. And I do think that will, um, he'll be able to do that. That's what this is all. This is all, you know, the plans are for to make him a legitimate candidate that he can get his name on the ballot. And Putin is so scared of that. He's so scared of that because he can't win unless he's cheating, you know. The outcome card is the Hierophant card for uh, Alexei. You know, this is his life's path and his purpose for his life. Uh, he will continue to be a leader, a mentor. He will bring change for the Russian people and instill inspiration to the masses. So he's there's a lot of good that he will do, and he'll continue to do that. So I'll take a look at him again, maybe as he gets out of prison and see how things go. But he is doing exactly what he was put on earth to do. You know, he's a really, really good guy. You can just look at him and feel his good energy. He's got really wonderful energy. He's a great guy. And uh, Putin ha has every right to be afraid of him because he's going he's gonna to make sure Putin is going down. And it's something that's very, very difficult to do because Putin's been there for so long. He's got a stranglehold, you know, on everything. His tentacles reach out so far. but People are tired of Putin, and this is gonna this is gonna be the change that's needed. My kitty is around here somewhere. Kitty cat. I was hoping she would come up here, and uh, y'all could take a look at her and see how she's doing. She's getting really, really big. <laughs> I had a really nice day today. Um, my grandson came over. My son-in-law helped my husband with the deck a little bit today. My husband called and said, could you come and look at this and see if I'm doing it right? In other words, could you come and help me? So he came and helped him. And my son-in-law is so good with wood. He, he works with wood all the time. He's taught himself. I mean, it's, a, it's a astonishing how well he can work with wood. He can build anything. And he came out here and measured the boards and cut them like that for him. My husband didn't even have a pencil outside. He's measuring the boards without even writing on them. <laughs> My son-in-law came in and said, how is your husband measuring the boards without even a pencil? Can I have a pencil, please? <laughs> That's my husband. That's him. Anyway, you guys, I hope y'all are having a wonderful uh, weekend. We're doing great. It's hot. It got hot out here. It was 90 degrees outside. If you're in the direct sun, it was hot. You know, 90 degrees isn't really that hot for here, but directly in the sun, it was really hot. Two days ago, I was wearing a jacket. Now, I was, I went and uh, put Roundup on the weeds, you know. Roundup is real. They, I, that was the first time I bought Roundup in a long time because of all the things about Roundup causing cancer. But they put a little cup on the end of their spray thing where it really directly sprays on the weed. And it's the first time I used it, but it, it's really nice. It can't really blow in the wind anymore or nothing. So, and you know, I tried alternative stuff and it smells exactly like Roundup. So I think it's the same ingredients. I don't know what the difference is. So I've grabbed Roundup this time. So got to get rid of the weeds. Got to get our yard back in shape. Let me see if I can find my kitty. She is. I went and grabbed her off the floor. <laughs> She's like, I, I, didn't, I don't care to be up here with you. She'll bite me just as, just as soon as look at me. Yes, she will. She's a little stinker. I still love her. Okay, you can go. Go on. I, I, I wanted to uh, talk to y'all about something else. This is just uh, something that I bought. And I really like it. I'm going to share it with you guys. Have y'all seen those vibrational platforms? I got me one. This lady was telling me about it. And she was saying, I'm not even using my treadmill anymore. I'm just using my um, platform, my vibrational platform. And I've seen them on, you know, YouTube and all that. You can look at them. And I, um, I looked it up and stuff. And they really do give you a workout. It can really give you a workout. It's not just, you're just not sitting there vibrating. So I got mine. It's right here on the floor. I have a, I have a red one. It has a Bluetooth capability with the speaker. 
you can hook your phone up to it and listen to music. And it's got little handles on the side that you can, you know, put your arms and do a workout like that. So I got it yesterday, day before yesterday, I guess, day before yesterday. And I used it for the first time. It goes, it has like a hundred different um, powers, you know, it seems like the first, I don't know, 10, 15, they all feel like the same. When you get you know further up there, it feels like more vibration. And you can stand up straight and you get a vibration and it's in different areas, you know. You can squat your legs a little bit, just bend your legs down a little bit and you can feel it in your butt. And I mean, I got a butt workout because I stood on it with, you know, my legs bent like that. I'm telling you that for two days in a row, I've had a sore butt. <laughs> I could use a butt lift, so hopefully that'll help, you know. There's all kinds of things you can do with it. You can put your hands on it and get your arms to work out, you know. It vibrates your arms like crazy. And then, of course, you can, you know, you can do steps on it and you can do squats on it and all kinds of stuff. That it came with a thing, uh, an exercise manual with it tells you all the exercises. I have it here somewhere. The user manual. There's all kinds of exercises you can do with it, but it felt so good. And you know that, you know, your heart rate's going up, so you know it's working. And I, I always had read that when your um, body moves like that, you know, when you're accelerating your heart rate and your body's moving, that it really, uh, creates your hormonal, you know, gets everything in balance hormonally. So, you know, that your hormones kick in after you've been exercising at a, you know, at, at a, I don't know, higher rate once your heart rate gets up there for a little while. And I have a hard time maintaining a higher, you know, rate. Like when I'm walking, um, I get bored or something, you know what I mean? And my heart doesn't go up that, that far, you know, and I, I don't know. I'm lazy. I don't want to push myself that much. So I walk at about three miles an hour and that's about it. So, but I do get on the elliptical machine at, um, when I go to the gym and that helps a little bit because you got your arms going too. So you get a little bit, but with this thing, you're just standing in place and you, you can move up and down and your heart rate's going up and everything, everything's jiggling. You feel like uh, all itchy, you know, you've had so much vibration that you feel all itchy. It's man, it's got your blood going for sure. So I feel like it's going to be a healthy thing. We'll see. I need to put my face on it. I've been on a diet, you guys. I've been on a really strict diet for two weeks, doing really good. I know that doesn't sound very long for two weeks, but I haven't had any sugar in two weeks. I haven't had a piece of bread in two weeks. I haven't had rice in two weeks or pasta or anything like that. I've had salads. I've had you know, um, like green beans with meat, stuff like that. I do have sometimes uh, when I haven't hardly eaten any carbs, I'll allow myself a little popcorn at night, but it's the air pop popcorn. Uh, but I've been really, really, you know, eating low carb and I've only lost a few pounds. It's on, it's like squeaking off me. I don't understand. I can look at food and gain weight but trying to lose it, it's so hard. Why is it so hard? I know I can lose weight if I reduce my calories down to about 700 calories a day. You know, I'll, if I do that, um, I think it's the, what is it? HTC diet or something like that, where you, you go down to 700 calories. I've done that many, many times, but it's so starvation, it's so hungry. You know, I just, I'm, I'm super hungry when I do that, but I will lose weight. I may have to just go ahead and do that. I don't know. Uh, my birthday is May 1st. So this is my gift to myself was a little less of me. <laughs> That's what I really wanted. And my husband's like, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, can you get this fat off me? That's what I want. <laughs> Some Botox maybe, you know, can I get a facelift please? <laughs> He's, he keeps asking me what I want. I'm like, that's what I want. So I just said, well, I'm going to, I'm just going to diet until May 1st. And then we're going to, what are we going to eat? Oh, we're going to have Mexican food on my birthday. And it falls on a Saturday, which is great. And I'm going to make enchiladas for everybody. That's what I'm, that's my plan.
there's a bunch of us. There's 11 of us. I'm going to do it like an enchilada casserole. Instead of rolling them all up, I'm just going to do an enchilada casserole. I'm going to do chicken and beef and beans and rice and chips and salsa and pico dio and everything. I love Mexican food. So that's my choice. That's what I'm going to get. Anyway, all right. <laughs> and maybe a bottle of Chloe. Maybe a bottle of Chloe. Oh, you know, have you ever seen those shots you can get to lose weight? Uh, I don't, I forget what they are, but they're, um, they're, I don't know, a lipo shot that you get and it helps you lose weight. I have to look it up again. Uh, I might get those. Maybe that would jumpstart my weight loss. I was, I'm thinking about doing that just for next week and see how that goes. <laughs> Cause I need something to jumpstart me. You know, I've, I probably have lost like maybe four or five pounds. That's it. I don't know. My weight fluctuates up and down so much, you know, one day I'll have lost a pound. The next day I've gained a pound and it just keeps going back and forth like that. So I'm not really getting down. It's, it's annoying. It's really annoying. And I've been eating salads and meat. So I don't, I don't know. I don't, I used to be able to do that and lose weight. You know, I used to could do the Atkins diet and lose a whole lot of weight. I just can't do it anymore. It just doesn't work for me anymore. I don't know why. And I'm walking my dog again, the big dog. I've started walking him again. So I'm getting exercise doing that. I'm bringing him outside at least twice a day and taking him for a walk. And so I'm getting more exercise too. So I don't, I, I have no idea what's wrong. My fat wants to stay here. <laughs> it just wants to stay with me, I guess. But I don't know. You get a certain age, I guess, and hey, you are who you are, right? What can you do about it? You try, but what can you do? Anyway, you guys, I'm sorry the lighting is so poor. I can remember uh, I used to have trouble with the, you know, the reflection on the glasses. And then when I got the windows here, I didn't have so much reflection problem, but it was too white, white out. Now, I don't know. I put a cover over my windows. I don't know if that's going to work or not. If if this works good, I'm going to order curtains. I have mini blinds, but I don't have curtains on my mini blinds because we like the windows all open. So I'm, I may I may end up go ahead and getting some curtains. I have six windows in here in my bedroom, and then I have a frosted door. You can see it right there. There's a door to the patio, so I have a lot of light that comes in here, and uh, the the lamp that I had it had a daylight bulb in it and so I think it was too bright now I've changed the bulb so it's a little bit better but still not perfect but hopefully that'll be a little better all right guys thank you so much the next reading that I want to do I wrote it down I want to do a reading on Caitlyn Jenner she's running for governor of California so I want to see how that's going to go so that's my that's the thing I'm going to do next I have to go um help give my husband a hand, put up his tools and help him a little. We're going to go get a hamburger tonight. Woohoo! It's Saturday night. <laughs> I'm going to probably have to have a burger on my salad, you know, have one of those. Uh, have you seen them? Sometimes they put a big piece of lettuce over, you know, a low carb hamburger. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully I can stay strong, y'all, and I'm really hungry, <laughs> but I'll try. All right, guys, love y'all so much. If you'd like to get a reading with me, just look down below. There's my email address. I've been doing a lot of readings every day. I do a lot of readings. Also healings. Um, I know y'all have heard me say that before. If there's somebody that you know that you would like, you know, me to see, do a healing session for, let me know and I'll be glad to do it. Okay. I do healings every day too. Just, I'm not healing anybody. I'm just sending them love, light, and healing. So the body knows what to do. You know, the soul, the body knows how to heal itself. It's just um, the energy, just the energy that is sent. Okay. All right, guys. Thank y'all so much. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Y'all stay safe. Uh, God bless y'all. Do something kind for somebody. It always comes back to you. Bye for now.